That's cool to see that thing back in the green lane too. Yeah. Even though it's it's kind of made your own thing. Huh? Oh, there's no doubt. There he goes, up on the wing. Welcome him to Victory Lane for the first time ever here, Danny Dietrich! Yeah, it is. Same with Marks. Yeah. Parking this Wiker car back in Victory Lane here at Port Royal Speedway. As long as the real check doesn't fall, I suppose this one's okay. Here he is, today's 63rd Annual Labor Day Classic winner, Danny Dietrich. Watching all that unfold in front of you, you probably wonder if you even had a chance to get there. Uh, I never had a chance. It's a long race, especially on day race. You know, uh, I love these day races where you, you get way on the bench or way on the bottom, and uh, it just gets so racy, you know, that you can make up some time compared to when a track's wet. And uh, I, I knew I was hoping my traffic was going to hit. If not, I figured if they could get to racing, uh, maybe I could make the top stick. And I caught them just in time before the top went away. Uh, you know, I knew once I got the lead that, that uh, just to get back down to the bottom was going to be the key. A couple pivotal things I picked out with you at the front. First of all, you did choose the top. You ran it till it scared you. Right there. You got in way too hot on top. It's not Tusker or 50 night. And then you went down to the bottom and that's where you stayed. And the most pivotal thing I think was when you finally got around the 44, I think it was Joey Hershey down here, inside to put that buffer between you and Greg. Yeah, uh, I was trying to buy my time. I finally, uh, I got close enough to Joey. I thought I could run in on the top here and uh, it didn't stick me like it did earlier on in the race. You know, I just kind of jumped up there, and uh, sometimes you just jump down of uh, a rhythm that kind of catches you. But uh, we got by him. I was just being patient, you know. Uh, Joey was setting a pretty good pace, you know, when it rubbered up there on the bottom. And uh, figured I could just keep up to him and uh, eventually slip underneath him. I about got into him once, but, uh, you know, we got by him and uh, put the cushion in there and, and uh, pulled away, I guess. Well, you couldn't see this, but <clears throat> as you were leading out front, at one point there was about 10 to go. The top five cars weren't in two corners. They were in one corner. If anybody slipped or moved the wrong way or you left the bottom for any reason, you were getting passed. Yeah, I believe it. You know, when, when, when you're behind lap cars like that, and uh, the biggest thing is not making a mistake. You know, if you miss the bottom, somebody's going to squeeze past you. Then uh, you have a chance of uh, getting moved down a line and going from first to fifth. Uh, I figured if I could just keep it on the bottom there and uh, keep it straight, we should be all right. But uh, that's easier said than done sometimes. Times. Congratulations on this first ever win here. I have a hard time believing I was pouring over the records there when that caution came out. Your dad doesn't have a win here. I was surprised. Is he here today? I think he's on a Harley ride. Uh, we got a three, I got a 3 8 win here, but uh, never a 4 10. We've always been fast here, and uh, finally we got it. $4,000 to the winner, a gift certificate from Duke Steiner out here to use during Fair Week. $4,000 on the check and a trophy. We'll let you reach in here and get the winning 50 50 number. We'll get down and talk to Greg and Lance. The blue ticket, 522243. 522243. Congratulations. We got the big money races now coming up at the end of the week, and I'm sure you'll regroup and be back. Yeah, we're, uh, we're excited for that. We got another car motor here for that race coming up, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I want to thank Weikerts and uh, Gary Kaufman and everybody that sponsors this thing. You know, it's pretty awesome to have a 29 sitting in Victory Lane again, and uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. You know, it's a day race, uh, it's fair week. You know, I'm glad everybody showed up. It's Gary here. No. <laughs> Friday night, he comes to me and he says, we're coming up there and we're coming to win. And he did, Danny Dietrich and the Wikers Livestock number 29 in Victory Lane. <laughs> Second place today, he led early, put a good run together. Man, he was right there again today. Greg Hodnett, congratulations. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate everybody coming out. I know it was a long day for the, uh, the weather. Um, but I appreciate you being here and uh, trying to put on a good show. Obviously, daytime racing is not really conducive to the best racing, but I thought overall it was, it was really good. Danny did a nice job um, uh, working the top to get enough momentum to get going there. And we got the lap traffic. He had just enough to squeeze by and, uh, wow. and uh, jump back in line. I thought I might get another opportunity. He was doing the same thing. Uh, he was going to do it again to a lap car, and I thought, well, maybe if he stays up there, gets a bad run off or something. But the uh, 
flat traffic just didn't work to me. My advantage coming off of two, and uh, he got back in front of him, and or kind of got back in line and shoved him out of three and four, and I just couldn't get by uh, that particular guy before he got back to the bottom. And uh, you know, Danny again did a nice job in his marks and uh, did a nice. Nice race. The last couple of years, you said about daytime racing. I too remember it was it wasn't a race at times. There wasn't much of a race. But the last couple of years, whatever the consistency of this clay is, whatever happens here in daytime, it seems to stay racy. So that's a good thing for the fans. Yeah, I think when they water the top, you, you at least get about ten laps. Uh, you can bank on maybe five to ten. If you're really lucky, fifteen. But usually, you kind of gear up to the ten. Not that you can look to see when ten is, but uh, if you just kind of know that, hey, you got ten laps to make something happen and. After that, you kind of need to fall in line, and uh, we just didn't make it happen. Car looks like it's prime for the end of the week. Good luck. Thank you. Greg Hodnett finishes second. And back here's another guy that's primed for the end of the week, I believe. Lance DeWeese finishes third today. He led quite a few laps. Lance finishes third today, and this car was good, too. Looks like you're primed for the end of the week. He led several laps, and then we're under most underneath Greg again for second there, but it didn't work out. Yeah, we got, when I got the lead there, we just started getting tight, tight, and tighter, and I couldn't get it on the lever left no more, and I knew I was in trouble up high over here, and, you know, Greg got back by me, and, you know, Danny was really good. You know, he had a good race car, and, you know, he goes good when he gets slick. You know, he deserved to win. We deserve to be third, and that's where we're at. And we're working our hard for next week. Congratulations. Good luck at the end of the week. Thank you. Lance DeWeese, third today. We'll go back upstairs to Shane for the rundown, the starting lineup for the Econos.